Hi everyone! Hi! And welcome to this week's walk. Um, today we're in Stafford's Victoria Park. You know, the park was originally laid out in 1908 and the actual layout of the park has changed very little since then. It has recently been uh, refurbished during the lockdown and opened back up again and as you've seen the flower beds and then the buildings are absolutely beautiful. In keeping with our latest series of refreshing walks um, this book is based on Albert's Cafe Bar. Yeah. Albert's is the new cafe bar that's in the town park, Victoria Park, and operates as a cafe during the day and during the evening it's open as a bar. So this walk we're going to head off through the park and up into the Doxy Marches Nature Reserve for a loop round and then come back down into the park for refreshments at uh, Albert's Cafe. So come along, enjoy us for a refreshing walk. See you later. Yeah, one of the first things we've come across in the park is, is this, which is quite ancient. I think uh, Tina's found out a little bit about this for us. It's the Alderman's Mottram Shelter. It's a grade two listed cast iron timber shelter that dates back to 1905. Wow. So that's, uh, I think that was all been renovated as part of the works that's been done in the park. And uh, yeah, it's certainly got a bit of style to it. It's very Victorian in its it style. A bit. Yeah, unfortunately the, uh, the locals aren't looking after it as the cops they well should do. When it's like all of about five yards from a litter bin. Okay. Just over there in the background is the old bandstand as well, which... Um, they were starting to organise concerts and things in at weekends now, that's all been renovated. So, I also, I believe, Stafford Railway Station is one of the few mainline stations that you can walk straight out the front of into a park. Um, and what a beautiful park it is. And of course we've got the, uh, the war memorial there as well, uh, which uh, is honoured every year on Remembrance Day with the... Uh, it sort of commemorates the dead from the Great War and the Second World War. This side of the road, we've now gone under the, uh, the road and the rather impressive bridge there, which I quite like the look of. And we're opposite the Stafford College there and the play park. There used to be tennis courts where the uh, play park was there. And when we were wee little ones, as Tina's just said, and the old pavilion there and this was added to the park in the 1930s as a play area for local children and it's uh, again that's not been too long since all that was refurbished so we're going to carry on along the banks of the river Sow. you'd think they cut the nettles down wouldn't you well Back to what we said previously, they tend to leave them as wild uh, plants, don't they? Yeah. I suppose, in a way, it stops the idiots jumping into the water, <laughs> doesn't it? I don't think you're ever going to stop the idiots jumping in the water, if I'm honest, but <laughs> I, I, know, I, I know what you mean. Oh no, out past the play it. areas. Oh yes, the old uh, windmill there at Broad Eye. Uh, Yes, well this is where it could, could get slightly interesting. Right. Because in theory we go across there and we follow the river all the way up. Right. So it comes out on the Isabel Trail and we cross the Isabel Trail to go into the marshes. Right. But of course they're doing the roadworks. 
So I'm not quite sure what the path's going to be like. There's no sign saying footpath closed, so we'll go and see. Oh, no, it's disgusting, isn't it? No. no. Yeah, you wouldn't actually believe you're walking through Sainsbury's car park, would you? <laughs> At the side of the river. Yeah, you actually see there, they're, they're uh, building the new... Road. Yeah, the new road, the new Western Distributor Road. That's going to bypass the town. Due to open in a couple of months, I think. Where did I'm trying to find out. Through. out. Right, that's the, the plans for the Western Access Route, which is uh, nearly finished now. Okay. Okay, just... yeah. 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 yeah, so that's pretty much where we would have come out. Had, uh, yeah. Once they finished the construction. Once they finished the construction, well, no, it would have been beyond there somewhere. So it's not a massive bit we couldn't get through, but uh, once the new bypass is open, that will be, be restored and you'll be able to walk through there. But like I said, it does bring you out on the Isabel Trail, so it's not a big issue. Yeah. Yeah. But to Karen, you carry on, would you? Or would you come up there? Uh, we can carry straight on. Straight on to Karen. Yeah. Or you can go through there, or you can go through there. Okay, so we're turning off the Isabel Trail now, and we're going north through the or north ish through the old dead end here dead centre of stafford and part of the oldest part of the cemetery i believe some of my grandparents are buried around here somewhere but i have no idea where <laughs> right. Oh yeah, because we normally come out of here, didn't we? Yes. That way, yeah. Is it weird how you, you bear into the Right, so we're now on the marshes as such. Um, there's various different activities and all sorts of things you can see on here. Warblers, kingfishers, ducks, otters, lapwings, you name it, there's all sorts. So, uh, yeah, well worth coming up here. No two times do you come here and see the same things. I can certainly say that. And the different times of years you get a lot of migrating birds stopping off here to... Uh, stop over so yeah interesting stuff we have done a previous walk over the marshes which uh, was quite nice The heron just landed up there, and just to the right of the river, you see a bit of grassy stretch and the long grass. I think he's in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah there he is. There's loads of little uh, side paths and things that you can go off and explore around here. And I've said all sorts of ones. There's still another heron in there, I can see. Another heron in there. There. Oh, yes. Wow. Beautiful. Look how still it is. Sounds like chicks. Have you got chicks with him? Remember when we were here longer here with the green tree? Yeah. Can't it's remember. Like dragonflies. Yeah. The <laughs> purple and the um... You see any ducklings, do you? Pardon? Oh, I'm a cute. You yeah, quiet. Oh, Shh. Oh. 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 Where? No. <laughs> take the. You start that. You're not big and you're not clever. <laughs> Mummy duck and the ducklings coming back up, look. Uh -huh. So up in the tree, that's the pigeon. Yes, it is a pigeon. A bog standard pigeon. <laughs> Quiet pigeon, to be honest. Hi. Uh, if you're having a nap, it's <laughs> probably up early annoying somebody. Well, this is the designated dog off lead area. Yes. Which I think is quite a good idea, but it is worth noting if you bring your dogs on on the marshes, you're welcome to bring them on by all means. But they should be kept on lead. Until you get to an area like this. Until you get to the designated off lead area. And of course, it goes without saying, if they do anything, pick it up and take it home. Or put it in a designated bin. I haven't seen a bin. Uh -huh. no, but, yeah, awesome. Bag it and bin it, take it home. It's beautiful. There's several actually. This one and another one further down, which is harder to get to. Beautiful, eh? Yep. So this is the northern end access point to the marshes. You can actually go up this lane and then go left and uh, accesses you to a car park up there just off the back of the Creswell Farm estate, which is quite a nice access point. Um, yeah, it kind of, it says we are here.
Carefully. Right. Move like, think quick. Move Jump. quick, think like, yeah. To that bit then. Yeah. So I'll watch. I wasn't. I didn't jump, I stepped. Where did you step then? Well, roughly just slightly to one side of where you were. Now this is where allegedly there's hide? a path. No, there's a path. This was the hide, but there was a path that runs up the side of the hide and goes off over that way. On ordinate survey maps. Through all that shit? Yeah, basically. Yeah, so having failed to uh find the path we've never found before we'll carry on down the path we normally go on <laughs> have even a bit of bog hopping or marsh hopping it's certainly very different to last time well, the grass is so much longer yes and, uh, it is isn't it you, okay. before when we came last time you could actually see the path yeah. And you could see the path for a fair distance, couldn't yeah. you? Whereas now it actually gets heavy twist and turn, it's mm, sort of yeah. hidden in the grass. It's something really very peaceful over here, isn't it? Apart from, apart from the occasional train. And then pass on the uh, West Coast main line. So is this going to the town park? Uh, yeah, it's actually it's the sow, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh no. Run! They can't. They must be on leaves that don't sink. Oh, they're only really pads. Yeah. And they're very light birds, aren't they? Yeah. Leave that bit and where we trace through the bit, <laughs> and then we took a bit of the trouble. Yeah. Trying to look. Trying bridge, to find the other bit. Wasn't bit. There. So we had to do a little jump. Hop, skip, and a, a splash. Splash, yeah, and then a okay, coach, yes. Well, you did get wet. Yeah. Not as wet as my feet. <laughs> okay. I was expecting me to go splat the other side. <laughs> Oh, I'll let you go first, see how hard it is. <laughs> That's what went ooh, and I thought, oh shit, get out of it quick. This is where the move fast, think light comes in. You weren't doing the think light bit. Think light. <laughs> yeah, you went stamped on a very dodgy bit instead of very try quick foot. You should have been like that, just very quickly. I know. <laughs> Less of a fairy and more of the elephant. Thank you. Oh, a signet. Oh, it's too long. That poor little ugly duckling. Look. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, they're behind us now. Aren't they lovely? Oh, Nigel, aren't they cute? I don't think they are ugly, you know. I think they're adorable. Come on. You do witter, don't you? Yeah. You some seaweed. Seaweed? They were doing well. <laughs> yeah, when we got there, we were going to come around this way. So this is that one we said we would have took from the gate, but we went that way. 
Remember? Sure. Yeah, but there should be another one to go down that way. Mm. Opposite where the path's closed. Yeah. when we first came and you said no we'll go straight out and we'll come out that yes. way yes yeah i said we may and then yes. come out that way what do you think there's one here somewhere yeah it should be this side of the river there yes all right let's take you down this that side of the river so it must go down that out yeah and that's how you get round yeah but there should be a crossing point at the top somewhere near where we couldn't find it. Yeah, you might find it from that way. Yes. So the only way you're going to know is just by doing it. From this end. Start, you come back. Yeah. Explorer time. Yeah. Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Okay, so now back on the Isabel Trail, which we're going to basically backtrack now the way we came come out on the Doxley Road, turn left, right back into the town park again and, get another cup of tea and, a cup. and then head back to Albert for a much needed bit of refreshment. Might even stretch to a cold pint. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, walk through Stafford Town Park and Doxley Marshes and a bit of bit of exploring as well to the bargain so uh, thanks for coming along with us that for a refreshing walk where we're we going now teen to albert's cafe for a cup of tea and a piece of cake a cold pint of beer see you later folks on our next refreshing walk bye now bye now